uh, this talk is about paradoxes. We looked at logic and ambiguity and fallacies and paradox is a kind of confusing logic. They're not really true or neither false, but they are actually something on the border and they almost border on, the, on philosophy. So let's look at some examples. A paradox is a, an argument that produces inconsistency typically within logic or common sense. And the example is Anu says I'm lying. Is she lying? If she's lying, then she's not lying. And if she's actually telling the truth, then she has to be lying. The similar example is this sentence is false. The sentence can't be false because it can't call itself false and actually it's the same as Anu, anu saying I'm lying. And that example, next example is by Bertrand Russell uh, and it's old, like 100 year old logical statement that came up. The bar barber shaves only those who don't shave themselves. And the question is, does he shave himself or herself? And the answer to this could be surprising. So let's look at a surprise quiz this week. Teacher says, says there will be a surprise quiz this week. Anu says, it can't be on Saturday, so it must be earlier. So it must be on Friday. So it won't be a surprise on, on Friday either. So it must be before that. Eventually, the quiz has to take place immediately to surprise the people. Otherwise, they'll be prepared, knowing that it will be the next day. So it can't be on the last day. It can't be on the second last day. It has to be the current day. That's a paradox of time, involving time and surprise. And uh, similarly, on the topic, free will. Free will is a topic that is really not resolved. It comes in philosophy and probability theory, but we're going to just see some simple examples. By ex uh, Anu says, has God created us and is he all-knowing? Uh, Biju says, yes. Then Anu says, then why am I responsible for my sins? God created me and God actually knows everything I'm doing. But B Biju says, but he gave you free will to test you. And Anu counters that. But he created me and already knows what I will do. So I have no free will. I have to do as he knows I will do. Now, so this is a complicated example in, in which who is responsible for what you do. Do you believe that you have choice or do you actually you are programmed by the laws of the physics or God? Well, this is a question we'll look later on more of it. But in the meantime, you can think about it. And there's another paradox. It's called the ship of Theus, Theseus. If you replace a part of a ship, it's still the same ship. Biju says yes. So if you replace every part of a ship, is it still the same ship? Well, it seems so, because of the earlier logic. Chitan says, and if we take all the replaced parts and assemble it again, we had the first ship. Now we have two ships which are the same. So that's a paradox. The ship of Theseus. Where you make from one ship, you get two ships. And there's a similar paradox in, in topology, the barnack tarski paradox, where you have one ball and you can make two balls out of it. But that's a topological example. This is like a simpler example to understand. And the inventor's paradox. There are lots of them if you look around Google. And inventor's paradox is it's easier to solve a general problem than solve a specific problem. Especially true in computer science and a lot of uh, simple problems where you try to create a specific tool for to solve a problem. It's much more harder than make a generic tool like a screwdriver. It can solve hundreds of problems instead of trying to solve one specific problem. Let's look at more paradoxes. The time travel paradox. The question that we have is, can we go into the future and can we go into the past? So the paradox is, what if someone goes 100 years back in time and changes his pa past so that he is not born? So this paradox can easily be resolved by saying we cannot go into the past. And going to the future is easy if you actually get into a spaceship and you are frozen or you go near the speed of light, which is again theoretical, but you can go into the future. We are all going to the future. But it seems the past doesn't exist anymore. And it exists only in your mind once it's gone. And then there are 3D il illusions. This is a drawing by Escher, who was a artist come a mathematician. Who with a he made a lot of woodcuts like this. And you can look on Google Images to find more of these things. This guy is looking at a, a cube, but 
is this uh, it's not really a cube it's confused it's confusing what is inside and what is outside what is is this in going inside or going outside and there are many paradoxes in quantum mechanics in physics and it's, it just comes up because we apply mathematical theories to physics and we see things that are not normally encountered in real life but nevertheless they actually exist in physics or in quantum level quantum means really small particle level so first one is Schrodinger's uncertainty principle which says that we cannot measure something without disturbing it it's not really a paradox but it's just a, a matter of fact because to measure something you have to shine light on it and if you shine light on it it actually affects the object that you're trying to take to, m to measure and includes everything including weighing something and there's a Schrodinger's cat paradox that says that things are not determined until we observe them what that means is uh, if, if you don't look at it you're not really sure nobody really knows what's happening out there so if, if the, the tree falls in a forest and nobody hears it did it really fall okay it actually fell but if you didn't hear it does it really make a difference and if you're not there to observe this world this world exists well you can think about it and there's an example from real life whether you uh, whether you, you, c you won a lottery or not can change till you look it up even though the results is already printed in a newspaper and you say okay oh god let me win a lottery but suppose the lottery has already been decided yesterday can it change can god change your results so this is an example of things that you don't know and you're expecting things to change till you observe it so if a tree fell in a forest and no one heard it does it make a sound does the world exist it has no one to observe it like a billion years back did the world exist there's not a single person to hear it and you can find a lot of paradoxes in, in, in the Japanese and the Zen philosophy and the simplest one that we can find is the two monks were arguing about a temple flag waving in a wind so the monk A says the flag moves flag, the monk B says the wind moves they argue they cannot agree so the, the third monk says see it is not the wind that moves it is not the flag that moves it is the mind that moves okay so there are a lot more of these examples around but you can look them up on google if you're interested in paradoxes thank you